My name's Ron Livingston. I'm playing a, a man named Lewis Nixon. He was the intelligence officer for Easy Company in the Second World War, 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment, and I shot a video diary. Here it is. The whole thing started, I'm down at the production office doing a little bit of research, and uh, Tony Till comes up to me, he's the producer, and says, Ron, uh, listen, we got people from HBO and they want to do kind of a behind the scenes actor's diary. We'll get you a camera, it's no problem. You just, uh, one thing we want you to do is we would like you to carry it around and shoot as much as you can of, of, the, of what goes on. My first thought was, I, uh, you know, I'm already kind of jumping into uh, actor boot camp, uh, completely unaware. Do I, is, do I really want to be carrying this camera around for the whole thing? Yeah, in the end I said, okay, I figured, why not? I'm annoyed already. Are you gonna miss me? I'm not gonna miss you leaving the milk out. <laughs> As it got closer and closer to the time to go, uh, the list of the people that that uh, I needed to make sure I said goodbye for, you know, before I left for nine months, just got longer and longer. And so we had uh, this kind of last minute farewell party. And Grace Nixon came. Grace is, is Lewis's widow. Incredible woman. I mean, uh, amazing woman. Smart, vibrant, has has an amazing story of her own. And she helped me a lot as far as just explaining kind of what the guy was about. Oh, that's, that's so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, too. This guy, this guy was handsome. Yeah. This is a handsome guy. Oh, well, you I don't know. I think, I think Lewis might be a little more handsome. <laughs> oh! I always like to try and do a lot of research so I know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, it's pretty easy to start on this one with uh, Stephen Ambrose's books, D-Day, about D-Day, Citizen Soldiers, about the rest of the war. Field manuals, these are all uh, period field manuals. Rifle Company, haven't gotten to that one yet. Uh, map and photograph reading, uh, Nixon was an S2 uh, intelligence officer, would have been doing a lot of that. Pictures. These I got from the production office. Here's the man himself. I got about six years on him. I think he was 26 at the time of the war. Sometimes you can't really see too much. You just get a sense of maybe you know the what they look like, the uh, way they carry themselves, the hair. <laughs> right there, they carry themselves like goddamn men. <laughs> this is my favorite here. This is uh, Winners and Nixon. Devilish rascal, huh? There's winners. Stephen Ambrose has described Dick Winters as being the heart and soul of Easy Company. Dick worked for Lewis when they came home. And they were best friends, really, for, uh, for the rest of their lives. I put off calling Dick Winters for about a month. He's kind of a larger-than-life guy uh, after you, or in, in, in your head he is anyway, after you, you, you read uh, Band of Brothers and, and D-Day and all the Ambrose stuff kind of hold up in my in my office and uh, set the camera up and I had this big elaborate plan how I, I you know I have one of these phones that's like a speaker phone and so I was gonna put him on speaker phone and and then I was gonna be able to get the conversation from both sides and I dialed him up and and I said ah, hello uh, taking in and the phone goes ooh yeah gonna be as, as uh, tomorrow at 5 30 he's like hello hello Excuse me. Who's the, hello? And I was just one second, and then I couldn't get the damn thing off. Sorry about that. Yeah, we're here. Sorry about that. But I, I did a lot of nodding and saying, uh huh. Uh huh. That was my first conversation with Dick Winters. I guarantee you that I'll give it everything I got. Bye. <laughs>